Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Chris Carter up here at Nerds, back again with the Daily Cracker Pack. Today we're going to be cracking another pack of Battle for Zendikar. I haven't really opened up enough of this yet, so uh, let's, let's see what we get. All right, our first pick is a Colostria Nightwatch. It's a four mana, four five, that happens to gain flying if you ever gain any life. Not great, situational. Uh, even if it wheels around, you're probably not gonna, this is not gonna end up in your 23. You can let this one go. Uh, two mana, put two one one counters on target permanent, and you can awaken it for seven to make a four four as well. Not a great combat trick. Sorcery speed, uh, kind of makes it unplayable. You can let this one go too. Uh, Merc Strider, 4 mana, 3-2, when it enters the battlefield, you put a card from opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. If you do, you can bounce a creature back to someone's hand. It's a bad um, mana war effect. Uh, you'll take these late, you definitely don't want to take it early, so you can let this one go. Alright, 1 mana, 1-1, one, one, Sludge Crawler in black with Devoid and Ingest. Uh, you can pay two and it gets one one till end of turn. Pretty decent creature in limited right with the, in this format, uh, but you're definitely not picking it first pick, so you can let this one go. Uh, Tandem Tactics, great combat trick because it hits two of your creatures and it gives you two life. Um, if you're in the white red aggressive shell, you're going to want some of these, but definitely not first, so you'll get these coming back around at you. Uh, don't overload on them. Uh, it's, sometimes it's better to hate on a card than pick up your third one of these. Uh, yeah. Sure Strike, another one of those good uh, combat tricks in this format. Tired Creature gets plus 3-0 and gains first strike until end of turn. Like I said on the previous video, this is uh, oftentimes a 2-mana kill spell in your red deck. Uh, it leaves your, their creature dead and yours alive. Uh, definitely pick this higher than Tandem Tactics, but not first pickable. Uh, Touch of the Void, it is a 3-mana, three, 3 damage spell sorcery so it's not great but removal is a premium in this format so pick this up uh, you know what this this might be looking like almost the first pick right now it is definitely the most powerful card we've picked up so far all right so sheer drop uh, three mana destroy target tapped creature another one of the better removal spells in this format sorcery speed again but it does come with the additional ability to make it into a three three if you pay six or you make one of your lands into a three three uh, Kozlex Channeler, we've talked about this before, 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, that ramps you from uh, 5 to 7, or possibly 8 if you hit your land drop. Maybe good if you pull a good uh, a big Eldrazi that you need to cast later on, but as far as first pickable, eh, I still think Share Drop and Touch of the Void are, are better than it right now. McKinney Slide Runner. Another great uh, early red-green landfall aggressive card. You're definitely not first picking it, but uh, if this wheels around and you're in that shell, it's a good one to grab. Skyrider Elf has been kind of a disappointment, um, especially in Limited. Uh, I wanted it to be better. It's just the five-color deck isn't good enough for this. Three-color decks aren't great with this. Uh, you'll pick it up if you're already in blue-green, but you can let this one go. And then we've opened a sweet one here for our uncommon, 8 mana, 10-8, that when it swings, all creatures able to block it must do so. It's a breaker of armies, great Eldrazi. Great if we can, uh, if we pick this in the Kozlek channel, channel wheels, that's perfect. But I don't think that Ch Kozlek Channel has a chance to wheel, so that, that, that would make a little bit of a difference in our choice. But right now we're still looking at these three as our n number one picks. Retreat to Valakit, definitely not first pickable. As far as the retreats go, the red one is, is most certainly the least uh, powerful. Let this go. Ally Encampment as a land, definitely not playable and limited unless you're f heavy, heavy, heavy on allies. You can let that one go as well. You know, we got a full art forest for our troubles. And then a tip card, no token. Um, I think possibly Shear Drop is the best, it would be my pick. Yeah, it's one of these three cards, gun to my head, it might be Sheer Drop. But then Breaker of Armies and then Touch of the Void. All right, that's our pack for today. Kind of a mediocre Battle for Zendikar pack. We're always looking for those expeditions, though. Hopefully we'll get one soon. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.